Hello, 99 Army, boys and girls, and welcome back to another storytime video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a near-death experience that happened this January in my high school cafeteria. So, I do apologize for kind of disappointing you on the title if I did, but it is not clickbait. I can guarantee you that. So, before I get into the story, I would just like to say that I have some nice Dota 2 gameplay in the background since the first Dota video has done so incredibly well. So, yes. Okay, time to get into the story. So, I was at lunch with my girlfriend I had at the time. Let's call her Patty to make the flow of the story better. Since Patty and I were in love, we talked to each other for most of the lunch since we also didn't since we didn't have any classes together. In addition, since we also didn't have any classes together, in addition to the two of us being to the two of us being in love back then, I'm sorry that this might seem a little bit choppy. I then realized that I had to eat my food pretty quickly in order to finish by the time the lunch was over, and I think that. For lunch that day, I do believe it was uh, mashed potatoes and uh, a roll and some noodles or something like that. I, uh, I can't exactly remember what I have for lunch every day. But yeah, so... I took a huge bite of mashed potatoes. The bite I took was obviously too big and I started to choke. This is where the story starts to escalate. This is where it starts to escalate, guys. This point right here. My friend Sue noticed and I a and asked me if I could talk to see how badly I was choking. And lo and behold, I couldn't talk. Meanwhile, Patty, probably knowing that I was choking, wasn't doing much of anything to help. Now, she might not have been aware, but I know she was talking to a friend or two of hers that we were sitting by. Yeah, she was sitting by a friend or two of hers, and I was sitting by my friend, you know. So, back when we were dating, I used to joke with her, like, Hey, you almost watched me die. And, you know, all this stuff got to a point where it was on a daily basis, but that's not why we broke up. I don't want to discuss this in this story time video. I don't like to discuss that with anyone, as a matter of fact. So, yes. I was still choking on the mashed potatoes, and I was seeing my life flash before my eyes. Luckily, one of my friends had the clever idea to give me some milk to drink so that I could get the mashed potatoes down, and that might have saved my life. Now, at this point, I was just panicking. 
I was in full panic mode, like, guys, help, help, please help. I mean, I think I had consumed all of my milk. I am not too sure, but I think I had consumed all of my milk. Like, I would drunken it all. I drank it all. Yeah, I drunken it all by the time uh, I did that, so... Yeah. Man, I can't believe this is such a short story, but we are nearing the end of the story. Which, I guess with the fact that I only have two weeks to do this, then that can definitely cause some issues. Like, hey, James, you've got to have the next story time done in the next two weeks. Whether it seems good or not. And, uh... I only finished writing the script and putting it in my phone on uh, Wednesday. So I was close to my deadline this week, as a matter of fact. But yeah. Ugh, freaking nose. Before I end off the video... Oh, wait. I went too far. So, my haters and people in general that hates that hate my guts so much may be might be disappointed that I didn't die but that's beside the point I do not care if they hate me they can hate me all they want all I know is that I've got some support from you guys the 99 army Fantastic fan base. Before I end off the video, I would like to thank my friends who might have saved my life, and maybe a couple of them will be watching. And they'll be like, oh, I remember that. It's no problem, James. I mean, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. And I would also like to mention that to this day, if I even take a decent sized bite of mashed potatoes, I start to gag some. You know, like my gag reflexes just start to go. Like, I think the big bite that I took was like uh, two, two and a half spoons, sp spoonfuls. And one bite. And even if I take... Like, the only way to prevent my gag reflexes from reacting is if I take, like, half a spoonful or less. Yeah, so, like, if I take a full spoonful, just nothing that'll make you choke, or just three-fourths of a spoonful, I will gag. Like... Like, I guess my body still has flashbacks to that day but just as I said they're not uh, big enough bites for me to choke whatsoever so <sighs> I'll be fine So I just thought that I would throw that little tidbit in there. And that's and that kind of reminded me about the story. Because I was eating mashed potatoes like three weeks ago and I remembered that. 
but yes, guys, I do believe that will do it for this story time video. So, until the next story time video, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.